Russia prepares to capture Kiev. Ukraine creates 10 new brigades against a new Russian attack. Oleksandr Pavlyuk, commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, has said that Ukraine plans to create 10 new brigades to prepare for a Russian offensive. Some of them will be formed for the potential defense of Kiev. Pavlyuk said this in an interview with The Economist. The Economist notes that one of the most urgent tasks facing Pavlyuk is the creation of 10 new brigades to prepare for a Russian offensive. Pavlyuk insists that Ukraine needs more equipment than people. In particular, there is a significant shortage of artillery and armored vehicles, which he hopes the West will provide Ukraine with. Also part of these new forces, 10 brigades, will be deployed to defend Kyiv. The general said that two and a half years after the Russian army was blocked in Kyiv, it has not given up its ambition to finally capture the city. Defending Kyiv remains one of our main concerns, no matter how tough it is in the east. It is the heart of Ukraine, and we know the key role defense of the capital will play in the future, Pavlyuk added. He said that the Russian army can no longer conduct large-scale raids on several fronts. In addition, Russia is using missiles that have just come off the assembly line just a few weeks after production, rather than from its once huge stockpile. Ukraine's armed forces are also much larger than they used to be. This, Pavlyuk notes, remains a strategic defeat for Russia. According to Ukraine's official estimate, Russia has lost more than 400,000 killed, captured and wounded. The loss of so many soldiers to seize a small part of one region is disproportionate for any rational mind. The ground forces commander believes that in unpopular issues such as mobilization, every official must show leadership. Faced with mortal danger, some citizens panic and this is natural, but if the country wants to survive, people must overcome the panic and answer the call to fight as they do in countries like Israel. However hard it is, we have no other choice. In an interview with The Times, Oleksandr Pavlyuk confirmed that, based on Ukrainian intelligence, Russia does not indeed have a plan for the possible capture of Kharkiv and Sumy. On the night of May 11th, a railway accident occurred in the Rostov region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. As a result of derailment of eight wagons of the freight train, fire broke out in two tanks filled with fuel. The incident happened at Kiberly Station of Orlovsky District. Fifteen fire engines were brought to the area to extinguish the fire covering an area of 200 square meters. Due to the accident, there was a break in the movement of trains. It is said that there were no victims during the incident. Russian partisans took responsibility for the incident. The partisans wrote this on the Rus Partisan Telegram channel however, they did not disclose the details. The fire has been extinguished. The remaining cars were moved by a shunting train to a safe distance. There were no injuries during the incident. According to the Southern Transport Prosecutor's Office, the fire occurred after six tank cars derailed. On behalf of the Southern Transport Prosecutor's Office, the Salsk Transport Prosecutor's Office is conducting an inspection of compliance with the requirements of legislation on traffic safety and operation of railway transport. The Southern Transport Prosecutor's Office monitors compliance with the rights of passengers in connection with ongoing train delays, the department said in a statement. Работали. 